Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and today is April 22nd, 2014. I just wanted to make a quick video today because there's been a bunch of stuff that um, has that Bioware has been releasing on Dragon Age Inquisition. Most of you know that I am a huge Dragon Age fan, um, and this is this is my number one most most anticipated game of 2014. So I'm really excited. Today they announced the release date finally for those of you who didn't hear. It will be released on October 7th in North America and on October 10th in Europe for the PS4, Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, and the PC. So I'm really excited about that. I'm trying to figure out what exactly, how I'm exactly going to prepare. I'm wondering if I should maybe uh, take a couple days off from work, if I can pull that, swing that. Probably warn some of my family and friends that I'm going to be disappearing in a black hole for like two weeks while I play this game. And not only play the game, but also record it. I, I'm definitely excited to LP it blind. Uh, oh gosh, that's uh, I can't even, I can't wait. It's so the the wait is so painful, but I'm actually still happy that there's still six months for them to polish it because I really want this game to be the game that I guess saves the Dragon Age series because after Dragon Age two, I personally liked it a lot, but I know that many fans out there felt that it it felt short for very good reasons. Um, but yeah, in addition to the release date, Bioware, I believe, had also just uh, recently updated their official Dragon Age website. It's chock full of awesome stuff about some of the locations around Thetis. Um, they've started showing character, like profi profiles of characters, classes, even uh, some previews on specializations for classes. So make sure that you go over and check out the Dragon Age website uh, if you haven't already. And lastly, Bioware had also today released a brand new gameplay trailer. And just for funsies, I thought I would record myself, I'd record my reactions watching this trailer. So it's not that long, but hopefully it's hopefully it's got some really good stuff. So I'm I'm really excited to to check it out. So. Okay, here we go. May contain content appropriate for children. Okay. Ooh, husks. It is difficult to bear. It's Cassandra. What happened here? Oh, jeez. You walked out of the fade, and our soldiers found you. The only one who escaped a blast that killed thousands. Really? And you have no idea how you survived? At this moment, you are the only threat I see. Oh my gosh! The world is tearing itself apart, but they say I can stop this. <sighs> is that Luciana? It grows larger with each passing hour. Oh my gosh. Unless we act, it will swallow the world. I'm wondering if that's the Inquisitor's voice talking. Jeez, this is such... That is so gorgeous. Might want to watch yourself. Oh my gosh. Raining demons out here. We will close the breach. We will find those responsible, and we will restore order! God, This looks just like... This looks... Reminds me of Vigil's team. Whatever we were before... So much. We are now... The Inquisition. <laughs> that was... Gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I... Wow. Like, one of the first things that really wowed me about 
that trailer is uh, watching the gameplay of the mage. The mage looks so cool when he was spinning around his staff. That was ah, oh. I'm I am seriously considering playing a mage for my for my LP. Uh, I'm not completely completely sold on that, um, but mages tend to be, you know, the my favorite class. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, clerics slash healers are my favorite class, but there are no official you know clerics or healers in Dragon Age. So mage typically is what I always start with when I play a Dragon Age game. So most likely I'll play a mage, and I thought it'd be really cool to play a Sarabas um, Kanari mage, but I'm not sure yet because I feel like everyone and their mother is going to be playing Kanari because it's you know shiny flavor of the month, year, three years kind of deal since we've never had it before. But uh, I thought what was also really interesting was you started to get a little bit more of the plot. Um, cause Cassandra was saying that the Inquisitor, uh, was found coming out of the Fade, and some giant blast killed all these people, but for whatever reason, the Inquisitor survived. You know, we've got, like, the, the Inquisitor has some sort of Harry Potter thing going on, chosen one thing going on, and... I mean, we've seen that sort of, uh, we've seen that story device before in the past where all these people around you died and for whatever reason you survived. And he seems, they seem to be hinting that as the Inquisitor, you have some sort of unique power, unique ability. Um, which, and I think that actually helps make some sense as to why you are the one that everybody turns to. Like, regardless of who you are, what background you came from, whether you're an elf, a dwarf, a ma uh, elf, a dwarf, human, or kunari, or even what class you are, I think the whole, there's, you know, mystery surrounding your Inquisitor as to why was this person, why did this happen to this person, you know, could it be that this person was chosen to lead the Inquisition for whatever purpose that they're, you know, doing besides, I guess, closing the veil or whatever else that they're that the main plot's going to be doing. But I think that's really interesting, um, uh, and it really um, makes me very anxious to find out what the full story is here. Um, I thought I saw, I thought I saw um, Liliana. My big, I'm like, I'm like going through the through the video, like little by little, like pausing. I I was trying to get a glimpse of Cullen <laughs> because they just recently, I think last week, they just recently announced that at PAX at PAX East they announced that Cullen is going to be a romance, a um, available to be a romantic interest for the Inquisitor. Uh, in addition to Cassandra, so all you Cassandra fans out there, uh, I'm sure are going to be very happy to hear that. I'm sure people like Reclusiarx slash David has been has a soft spot for Cassandra. But um, yeah, I was trying, I was trying to see if I could um, find Colin because just because Colin has been confirmed to be a romantic interest, a possible romantic interest, doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be a companion because. You know, Bioware has has done NPC romances before, like for example in Mass Effect Three, where you have uh, Steve Cortez and um, Samantha Trainer. So uh, it's possible, but I'm really hoping that he'll be a, he'll be a companion because I would love to have love to have Cullen there as a companion. Um, but if not, I'll I'll settle for a love interest, and I'm just hoping that the you know the thing is I think that with it's you might get a better experience. Hopefully, Bioware will take this in consideration. But I think a lot of people um, felt that the companion romances in Mass Effect, for example, were a richer experience than the NPC romances were. So I, I hope that if Colin does become an NPC romance that he's still going to be a really rich and fulfilling romantic 
option. Um, and, you know, uh, uh, of course, me personally, I would love for him to be a same-gender romance, but I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm not going to, you know, I, I'm not going to, you know, put get my hopes up. I mean, I am more than happy to roll up a female Inquisitor, you know, just to, you know, complete, complete Colin. Because the poor guy, I feel really bad for Colin. Um, people give him a lot of flack, especially for stuff that happened in Origins, but, you know, at the same time, uh, the, you know, if you played the, the origin story as a female mage, like I did when I first played Dragon Age Origins, Cullen had a lot of really adorable and endearing moments that caused me to really fall in love with his character, and Dragon Age 2, that solidified my, my, um, the endearment of Cullen, um, was more solidified for me. So I, I was looking at that final scene where the camera pans out, like starts panning back, and you start seeing all of the, uh, I want to, th I'm thinking is probably the companions of the Inquisitor. I almost said Hawk. The companions of the Inquisitor, because they said that there's supposed to be nine of them. There's nine, um, there's supposed to be nine uh, NP, I'm sorry, companions total and they're trying to do three mages, three rogues, and three warriors. So I'm looking at this final shot right here, and I see the Iron Bull, I see Cassandra, I see Solas, the bald elf. I think, s I'm not really sure, um, there looks like to be the mage, I don't think they've ever named him next to the Iron Bull. People in the forums refer to him as the dramatic hands mustache guy because of the way he's uh, typically depicted in uh, promotional pictures. Looks like right next to dramatic hands mustache guy is Leliana. It took me a while to, to figure it out. I had to really zoom into the picture to realize that that's... I can see the tufts of red hair and Liliana's in her in her seeker uniform. And then there's Sarah, the blonde elf, I think she, yeah, blonde elf rogue. Some other person there and then Mr. Beard, Mr. Sexy Man Beard. A lot of people are hoping for him to to be um the third warrior because I guess we're all assuming that Cassandra and the Iron Bull are going to be Warriors, which means there's only one more slot for a warrior companion. Other people are thinking it's Cullen. It can go either way. Next to Solas is a character. I'm trying not to give away any spoilers, but I believe that if I know who who I think that is, I think that is the character that's supposed to be from Dragon Age Asunder, the novel. If you've read the book, you probably would be able to recognize who that is. And then next to that person is Varric. And then Vivienne. And then I really want to say that that guy at the far left, at the far end, I want to say that's Cullen. I really want to say that that's Cullen. It sort of looks like him. It's kind of hard to know for sure. His hair looks a little different from what I'm used to in Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2. But he looks like Colin, and maybe again it's just because I want it so badly that so badly to be Colin. I believe Bioware has has mentioned somewhere some official from Bioware I think mentioned that we're supposed to have a great warden in our party, and um, if that's the case, then it very well could be Mr. Beard, you know, Mr. Hunky Beard guy, uh, being our great warden. Although it's possible that some of the rogues or maybe even the dramatic hands mustache guy could also be a warden too. It's hard to tell because none of these characters are wearing the official, at least not that I can tell from the shot, none of these characters seem to be wearing the official Grey Warden uniform that um, was presented in Dragon Age 2. So it's still, it's still tough to tell whether or not the Grey Warden spot is being reserved for Mr. Beard or if there's still hope for Cullen to actually be the third warrior in our party. The fact that both are on the farthest ends, the farthest ends of this shot, does not help in 
one way or another to, you know, um, imply that either of them is going to, is more likely to be in the party or not. It's just driving me nuts trying to speculate, so I'm not even going to bother. But anyway, uh, uh, geez, I'm, I'm so excited. Six months cannot come soon enough. Uh, but anyway, uh, put down in your comments what you personally are excited for the most for Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in the web page that are just chock full of new information. I'm going to be taking some time to check that out. Um, who are you excited about, especially returning back to Dragon Age Inquisitions? Um, it can definitely be somebody that has already been announced to return. And if you are interested in the romances, because I know not everybody is, that's not always their, everybody's thing, but if you are um, interested in romances, who in particular are you most, you think you're most interested in romancing? Um, and yeah, so thanks again, guys, for watching this short video. Short video. It's probably a little bit longer than anticipated to be. Um, and I uh, hope things are going well for all of you. So until next time, everybody, love yourselves and love each other.